Everybody's marriage has problems. Is he seeing another woman? Uh, yeah, you can make that plural. Yes, he sees other women. I sort of look the other way. I'm not, cause I want to help him. Do you? Moments ago, you used the word divorce. I said I was considering divorce. I may be overstepping my boundaries here, but you are Jewish, aren't you? Is that relevant? Well, us Catholics, we uh, place a great deal of stock in the sanctity of the family. And I am not sure that your people... I've been married for 31 years. Well, then you know how difficult it can be. He's a good man. He's a good father. You tell me he's a depressed criminal, prone to anger, serially unfaithful. Is that your definition of a good man? I thought psychiatrists weren't supposed to be judgmental. Many patients want to be excused for their current predicament because of events that occurred in their childhood. That's what psychiatry has become in America. Visit any shopping mall or ethnic pride parade to witness the results. What we say in here stays in here, right? By ethical code, by law. His crimes, they are uh, organized crime. The mafia. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so what? So what? He betrays me every week with these whores. Probably the least of his misdeeds. You can leave now, or you can stay and hear what I have to say. Well, you're gonna charge the same anyway. I won't take your money. That's a new one. You must trust your initial impulse and consider leaving him. You'll never be able to feel good about yourself. You'll never be able to quell the feelings of guilt and shame that you talked about. As long as you're his accomplice. You're wrong about the accomplice part, though. Are you sure? All I do is make sure he's got clean clothes in his closet and dinner on his table. So enabler would be a more accurate job description for you than accomplice. My apologies. So, you think I need to uh, define my boundaries more clearly? Keep a certain distance, not internalize my... What did I just say? Leave him. Take only the children, what's left of them, and go. My priest said I should try and work with him, help him to be a better man. How's that going? I... Have you ever read Crime and Punishment? Dostoevsky. It's not an easy read. It's about guilt and redemption. And I think for your husband to turn himself in, read this book, and... Reflect on his crimes every day for seven years in his cell, then he might be redeemed. I would have to get a lawyer, find an apartment, arrange for child support. You're not listening. I'm not charging you because I won't take blood money. You can't either. One thing you can never say that you haven't been told. You're right, I see.